Hello, I'm Bo Amber from Metallic, and I'm going to demonstrate an application created by our team at Metallic in partnership with Microsoft. This application was created with Expression Studio and demonstrates a full range of capabilities now possible with the latest version of Silverlight, and we're calling it Top Banana, which is a British expression meaning best in class, and that's just what we think this is, both as a video editing application and as an example of what you can do with the latest version of Silverlight. What's different about Top Banana is that it's one of the first Silverlight applications using managed code. That means it's not just SAML, it's the power of C Sharp and Visual Studio mixed together with Microsoft Expression. It's an application featuring a fluid and freeform interface for browsing, sorting, and editing video content. Meant to not just break the mold of traditional video editing, but also to illustrate the capabilities of interactive applications or RIAs. Now let me show you what that means. Here I've just had a promo video playing with basic video controls. I can play, pause, and scrub through this content. But the point of the application isn't just to watch video, it's to edit it. And I'm going to start doing just that by giving myself a little more room using the scaling feature. I can just drag down and set the workspace however I want it. I'm also going to go through the clip bin and find another piece of content to add. And to add it, I just drag it out. Now I'll do a little bit of cleanup by minimizing some of the UI elements and throwing away any clips that I'm not going to use. And as with most video, there are bits and pieces that you just don't want to include. In this case, I'm going to edit out the dead space at the end of this video. And to do that, all I have to do is drag the trim point to where I want the video to stop. I can do this with any number of clips editing the in, out, or both. Now I've edited the content to be the way that I like it, I can drag one clip onto the other and stack them into a sequence. Hitting preview now lets me watch the content I've edited as a single video. You can start to see how this isn't like any other video editing experience. It's intuitive and interactive. In just minutes, I've customized, edited, and created a new piece of content from two clips. Why I'm so excited about this is that it's not just another application that you can only see on the latest PC. It's a rich, interactive application deployed online and viewed in the browser. I'm showing it to you here in Windows Vista and Internet Explorer. But you can also just as easily use this application in Windows XP, Firefox, and even on a Mac with so now that you've seen some of the basic features, let's dive into some of the cooler and more complex aspects of the application. Expanding the clip bin, we can take a look at its features, which include allowing you to scroll through all of your content and to get a quick preview by rolling over any of the clips. You can also use the search to find anything in particular that you're looking for. The navigator gives you an overview of all of the content that you're currently using. You can drag to pull anything that you want into view. Here, let's take a look at some content that I've already set up. I can use the zoom to pull all of this into view in one shot. Now, I've talked a little bit about managed code, and specifically C Sharp, which is part of what has allowed us to create these complex interactions, but it also gives us a great deal of performance. Here we have nine different clips, and I can play them back individually, but let's just play them all. So this is nine different pieces of Windows Media Video playing back simultaneously within the interface. Well, that's great, but I want to show you something really cool. And to do that, I'm going to move to a fresh area of the application. You've seen how to edit by just dragging trim points around. Now, let me show you a much more interactive way to do that by using what we call film strip mode. Simply dragging out the video player, it transforms from a single frame into a sequence of images, visually representing the entire video. You can see as I resize, the images dynamically update to fit the space available. As I play the video, I have a visual reference of what this clip contains, and that makes it easy for me to identify different segments I might want to focus on. This lets me move the trim points straight to where I want them, quickly and easily. You can also see it darkens the areas of the video we're no longer using. I still have a preview window showing me the actual frame. I can use this to dial in with even more precision the exact edit point. Simply clicking and dragging left and right plays the video back frame by frame. Once I've honed in on a precise edit, I can snap the trim point 
to that frame. What I'm doing with all of this is actually re-editing parts of a longer take into a snappier, shorter cut and adding some other content along the way. Let's grab another copy of the same clip from the clip bin so that we can get some of the footage from the beginning of it. Here I'll pull out a copy from the clip bin, move it into the film strip mode, and then narrow in on the content that I want. Just moving the in and out points. Now I can snap these together as a sequence. And let's finish these off by grabbing some logos for the beginning and the end of the video. I'll add the silver light one to the end of the stack and even though it's stacked I can still trim the in and the out points. I'll add this one to the beginning even though it's buried back here I can still trim it as well right in place. Now let's see what this whole thing looks like put together. All of the video clips that we've been using are just Windows Media video files. All the edits that we've made are simply stored as XML. These two elements combine, creating a single piece of media. And with Windows Media, you have a wide array of options, from embedding in a blog, publishing to a website, or even broadcasting.